right brain, which many people talk about as the creative side, is that part that responds to holistic thinking, it responds to patterns, but it also responds to sound and images and story. This is the mythic side of the brain. And therefore, when you have a myth that you can participate in, or the mythic you participate in, then that aliveness shows up in the left brain in, the, in what you produce. But the right brain, now what is the, what is the most powerful aspects of this mythology? Is singing. Sound. It is in the resonance, in the rhythm, and in the capacity to, to harmonize, to, to, to express your deepest, profoundest thoughts in a tune or poetry in such a way that we literally carried ourselves with the song. This is, this is neutral territory. People can carry <laughs> very evil things with songs also. So the song itself, singing, is a neutral category. So what, you, what do you sing about, you know? To what, are you going to sing about being on behalf of? Are you going to sing about caring for people? Are you going to sing about the cost of my care? Are you going to sing about the mystery? Are you going to sing about the, 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 the wonder of all, the wonder of the mystery? Are you going to sing about the wonder of an individual? Or are you going to think, sing about the greatness of this and the greatness of that, you know, and, and, and you know, the German, you know, Third Reich. I mean, they, they had a symbol system. They had a mythology. But it was, it, was, it was turned inward as a dialogue with that which was not related to the mystery. So when you sing... You are in communion with an energy field that when that energy field is reflected in the quote, the way life is, with the void, with the mystery, which is where this part of the brain dialogues, it has access, direct access to the mystery. When what you activate that with is in resonance with, in harmony with, in, a, in, in appreciation of that mystery, then you get a taste of what it means to love God. Which most people have no way of using those two words together. <laughs> they really don't, you know. Oh God, love God, you know. Oh, they must must go out and plant some plants or something. I don't know what it means to love God. It, it, what, what it means to love God is to participate in that grand mystery that someday is going to take you and destroy your existence. That's what, you know, that's, that's the reality you've got to constantly be in dialogue with. That's why fear and fascination. You know, the mystery is both the encountered with wonder and fear, you know, I mean, there are, there are just two sides of the encounter. And the people who like to sell the joy juice, the ones who want you to just, you know, live a holy life, you know, so that you can just face the mystery with all the joy and the wonder and the happiness, you know, and don't turn their face to this part of the mystery. No. No, you, you got to live <laughs> with... With, with both faces because they're two sides of the same reality. <laughs>